Hi, everybody. Today we're going to take a little break from Help, I'm a Prisoner in the Library, and we're going to go back to a picture book. So today we are going to read The Stinky Cheese Man, which is from the book The Stinky Cheese Man and Other Fairly Stupid Tales by John Cheska. So if um, you remember earlier this year, we read all the Gingerbread Man stories. We read all the different versions of that. This is sort of like the Gingerbread Man story, except it's a little more silly. So I hope you enjoy it. The Stinky Cheese Man. Once upon a time, there was a little old woman and a little old man who lived together in a little old house. They were lonely, so the little old lady decided to make a man out of stinky cheese. She gave him a piece of bacon for a mouth and two olives for eyes, and then she put him in the oven to cook. And there he is. When she opened the oven to see if he was done, the smell knocked her back. Ugh, what is that terrible smell, she cried. The stinky cheese man hopped out of the oven and ran out the door calling, run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the stinky cheese man. The little old lady and the little old man sniffed the air. I'm not really very hungry, said the little old man. I'm not really all that lonely, said the little old lady. So they didn't chase the stinky cheese man. The stinky cheese man ran and ran until he met a cow eating grass in a field. Oh, wow. What's that awful smell, said the cow. The stinky cheese man said, I've run away from a little old lady, a little old man, and I can run away from you too. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the stinky cheese man. The cow gave another sniff and said, I bet you could give someone two or three stomach aches. I think I'll just eat some weeds. So the cow didn't chase the stinky cheese man either. The stinky cheese man ran and ran until he met some kids playing outside school. Oh, gross, said the girl. What's that nasty smell? I've run away from a little old lady, a little old man, and a cow, and I can run away from you, too. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the stinky cheese man. The little boy looked up, sniffed the air, and said, If we catch him, our teacher will probably make us feed him. Let's get out of here. So the kids didn't chase the, the stinky cheese man, either. See the cow and the stinky cheese man and the little boy? By and by, the stinky cheese man came to a river with no bridge. How will I ever cross this river? It's too big to jump, and if I try to swim across, I'll probably fall apart, said you-know-who. Just then, the sly fox, who shows up in a lot of stories like these, poked his head out of the bushes. Well, just hop on my back, and I'll carry you across, stinky cheese man. How do I know you won't eat me? Trust me, said the fox. So the stinky cheese man hopped on the fox's back. The fox swam to the middle of the river and said, Oh, man, what's that funky smell? Sorry, the pages are stuck together. There we go. The fox got, coughed, gagged, and sneezed, and the stinky cheese man flew off of his back and into the river, where he fell apart. The end. And there is the stinky cheese man falling apart in the river. So that was a short one, short and sweet and silly. I hope you're having a great day. I miss you. See you soon.